hello! How's it going, everybody? We're playing some standard, of course. Standard gameplay, as always, the very, very best here on the Anush Me channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for staying. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Very important. Um, because. Just because. Because you want to get better at magic. And the only way to get better at magic is to stay here and be... Like, I'll talk so much nonsense lately. Anyhow, um, I don't have a joke about my Tinder bio this time around. But I have Naya Enchantments for you, which is a deck. Whew, I was like, yo, oh, you know, I'll make a video about this. I'll play a couple games before the video to get, you know, get to know what's... Like, there's so many different lists out there. I was like, yeah, what's the right list? So I just played some matches and then, you know, came to a conclusion on what I liked the most after playing those matches. And I can tell you, this deck... Holy cow, it's real. This deck is really good. Um, yeah, like, Ride of Harmony. Let's talk about that one real quick. Because I think most of the other things we sort of aware of. You know, you've seen all the other enchantments um, being played. I mean, Naya uh, Showdown, or what do you call it? Naya Runes was a big deck in the previous standard format. But Ride of Harmony is, is, is a new big one. Two mana instant, whenever a creature or enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, just turn draw a card. So... Or enchantment means that basically you play stuff like Fable. You draw a card for enchantment, then the creature comes to play, you draw two cards. Teachings, same. Um, restoration, not the same. <laughs> because it's only an enchantment. But, you know what, what you can do with the sagas? You can play Rite of Harmony with the third chapter trigger on the stack in your first main phase. Then, the goblin, in case Fable of the Mirror Breaker, Fable gets exiled, goblin comes to play, you draw a card because just uh, an enchantment or creature enter the battlefield. You don't get to draw two cards when it's an enchantment creature, but that's all right. I mean, it's fine. And then with Hallowed Haunting, you go completely nuts because then you, every time you play an enchantment, you already get another spirit. Betting an onslaught makes multiple creatures. So Rite of Harmony is pretty bonkers in the stack, and it sort of replaces Showdown of the Skulls, you could say, because... In the previous Naya um, enchantments deck, Shodan really assured you to have gas until forever, right? You just boom, pop the Shodan, finding you more stuff, and then just going off and, and yeah, putting counters everywhere. Da, 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 da. And Rite of Harmony is kind of similar in that way that it just, you know, you draw a bunch of cards and then you just go off and make more things and do, 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 overwhelm the opponent. And um, yeah, this deck can, go, can do some really crazy things. I had board states. Where I went like Jukai, Jukai, play like a couple things, play this on turn four, play two more things, play like Fable, Wedding Announcement. My board state, I have like 15 power with Hallowed Haunting. Next turn, I, I instantly have the, the seven or more enchantments. So you creatures control, you control, have Flying and Vigilance. Instantly have that online on like turn five, attack the opponent for like a bazillion in the air. Um... Yeah, it's, this deck is unreal. And it can grind really well, too. I mean, in be between, like, Rite of Harmony, all the value things, like Fable, Wedding Announcement, Restoration, Hell Haunting, Spirit Companion Teachings, da -da -da, everything makes, like, multiple bodies, multiple creatures, grinds really well against, like, the black decks. For example, a card like Invoke Despair, you don't really care. It's embarrassing against you. You sack, like, one small enchantment and a, and a token, and then, yeah, sure, they get to draw one, uh, and, and, and you lose two life. Who cares? Um, so yeah, we're splashing for Fable. I mean, it's one of the most ridiculous enchantments in the game. Um, the, 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 the backside is quite nice with, um, Spirit Companion, you draw cards, but also like giving Architect of Restoration haste and making a copy, attacking, making more spirit tokens. More spirit makes your Hallowed Haunting spirits better, bigger and better. Um, which also, this makes also spirits. So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's there's synergy everywhere. And, um, yeah, this deck is just really strong. I'm playing 24 lands, 4 Restoration of Aganjo gets me more lands. Mana Cove is pretty low, but, hey, you do have a lot of things to do because Rite of Harmony, da 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 you, you always have stuff to do. Most uh, Like, you draw so many cards. Um, and then I guess I could talk about the sideboard or, like, Catilda is a card that most lists have in the main deck. Um, Kami of Transients is a card that people play. I, you know, after playing some matches, I was like, yeah, those cards feel kind of unimportant. Especially the Kami was just like, okay, it's a dumb little creature. It's good. It's big. Um, but it's not really what I need. It just dies to removal. Um, basically, everything in my deck besides the Jukai 
is kind of good against removal. And the Kami, I mean, it felt good, don't get me wrong, but I kind of just want to have Spirited Companion in that slot as of right now to just draw me more cards, find me my pieces, that kind of thing. So the Kami uh, of Transients just doesn't feel that important. Catilda in the main deck um, is also sort of like a removal magnet um, as the front side. And the back side, okay, sure, you get it back, you put it on a creature, you have a huge lifelinking um, creature. I, I I can see that you want to have this effect like as a one or two off to just have that lifelink boost. Um, but I just don't necessarily see it in this format because decks are not necessarily beating you down that crazy. And um, yeah, I mean, like we don't really have aggro decks in the format or something like mono green. We have a bunch of black mid-rangey grindy decks and um, Catilda just in itself doesn't really, it tr doesn't trigger anything on the front side. Sometimes... You really want to have the backside to have another enchantment. And um, it's just not that easy to get it in the graveyard. You just have like Fable to discard it. Maybe you mill it with Teachings of the Curran if you're lucky. So I don't know. I just put it in the sideboard. Whenever I feel like lifelink is important, I, I bring this thing in. The flying aspect to just have a kill condition on your opponent, I think is not so important. The way you kill people is with Hell at Haunting. Um, you just play it and then boom, play a bunch of enchantment uh, creatures. Enchantments, give everything flying vigilance, kill the opponent in one swing. So like that's this this thing is completely insane in the stack. Like it's so quickly that you enable the 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 clause of having seven enchantments. It's unreal. So yeah, I, I just don't think we need Catilda as a finishing effect. Yep. Um we got Circle of Confinement. I mean it's an enchantment, it's a cheap removal, great card for the deck. Playing touch in the main deck. Um, not circle, not super convinced on that, but I think, um, one issue is Shieldred. Um, yeah, I mean, you draw a lot of cards, right? Of Harmony draws you a lot of cards, so Shieldred can really just hose you. So I want to have the maximum amount of answers for Shieldred. Circle doesn't kill Shieldred, unfortunately. Um, Touch does. And Touch can also, you know, flicker one of your Saga creatures to re-trigger it. Or, I don't know, it can even kill a Goblin Shaman token from the opponent's side. I don't know, it can protect one of your creatures in response to a Farewell or something like that. Anyhow, Destroy Evil on the side, but of course, great card. Um, more answers to Shieldred, great against Esper, you know, you know the thing. Try and Curse of Silence, um, it's my answer to Farewell. Farewell is a pretty brutal one against this deck, of course. Um, so Curse of Silence, making it cost 8 mana seems reasonable, and it's an enchantment. It's kind of nice with Rite of Harmony being a cheap enchantment, uh, that you can just draw a card off. Um, you could play something like Anointed Peacekeeper, the free free elite spell by variant, but I felt that Curse of Silence just does fit the deck better. We have one copy of the Licensors in here, and Experimental Elspeth, that was the latest edition. Um, it's another thing I want against Farewell. It's a bit of a unique um, effect. It gives. It's sort of like a Catilda too, but it also finds you under minus three. Um, one of your very, very good. Like you have so many good free drops, right? Like you play Fetting Announcement and Fable, two of the best free drops in the game. You have Restoration, you have Touch. So Elspeth minus three is really good in the stack. And then um, I don't know. I can also imagine this being quite decent in the mirror match. I don't know. When, whenever it gets like stally or a little bit more grindy, uh, it's good against Farewell. I. She just gives you a different way of attacking. So we have two Elspeths on the sideboard. Um, yeah, what else is there to be said? So Meteor Massacre out of format is definitely very good for this deck. It does play to the board a lot. It's a token deck, Wedding Announcement. You, you know, you don't even need Hallowed Haunting. Sometimes you can win with like Wedding Announcement just making tokens and creatures, right? Like you just, against these black decks, you just make Wedding Announcement, da -da, here token, there token, da -da -da, and then everything gets one plus one and you have a touch to remove a creature of theirs. And you just outgrind them that way. So, yeah. So, Mito being gone is really good for this deck. Um, Farewell being in the format, of course, sucks. Um, but I think until that, if you already set up like a Rite of Harmony and you drew a bunch of cards on like turn 4, turn 5 or something like that, um, you can set it up in a way where like, oh, yeah, sure, Farewell me. I'm just going to rebuild after that. So, not, not even that is a big problem. I remember playing Naya Runes and um, Farewell was like, yeah, I was pretty all right against you, but you could, you could definitely play around it. You could just like, okay, I'll play a showdown, da, 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 and then play to the board, and then, yeah, sure, farewell me, and boom, next turn I just play Jukai, play not, and play, play Runeforge Champion, rune it up again and attack you. It's like, yeah, I don't care. 
So this, I think the, the rune stack was even le even more resilient to farewell, but this deck is pretty resilient. Like, it's not game over as you think it is. I thought at the beginning, it's like, oh shit, they have farewell, you lose. No, you can sort of like play around it sometimes. Not, all, not every time, of course. Okay. Right of Harmony, also nice with Vetting Announcement, of course, because at the very least, when you have a Vetting Announcement play, you can just play Right of Harmony to cycle it, to, because you get the 1-1 one, one end of turn, stuff like that. That's a cool-looking Plains. Oh, Mono White, maybe. Let's get the Jukai out. All right, guys. Naya, Naya Enchantments. Fiends and Foment. Interesting one. Maybe they play Invoke Justice. Uh, okay. Well, I do want to make land drops. So I'm going to go to Spirit Companion here. Also nice against the Hotshot. And then we'll play Vetting Announcement. Sweet. Uh, do I want to trade? Nah. No thank you. Like, next turn, I can already draw two cards with Rite of Harmony, right? Like, I can play Rite, then play Teachings, and then Vetting Announcement makes another token. Kind of want to have the Dark in the Grave, maybe? In case I find Restoration of Aganja. But the Dark is also an enchantment on the board. Peacekeeper. Well. Naming Harmony is a bit annoying. And it's surely gonna be their pick. Peacekeepers! Yeah, it's pretty good against when you draw multiples of one thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I would like if I if they wouldn't have dropped the peacekeeper and something else, I probably would have read of harmony here and drawn two cards. Anyways, what are we doing now? Like, just play Jukai and Teachings? Uh, I guess so. Well, actually, sorry, guys. We actually would have drawn three cards, yes. <laughs> because right, Teachings triggers twice. It makes a 1-1 one, one, and it makes an enchantment. Okay. So there you see how good Rite of Harmony is in this deck. Anyhow. Enough talking. All right, there's another one. Out the lane. Well, I'm surely gonna block the peacekeeper if it attacks. Um, I think I'll just do this. That gain that attack gained me alive, so it was not very productive, I'd say. Hmm. So everything's gonna be a free free. Uh two two. So I can make a four four here. I guess why not? And I think I'm just gonna cycle one of these rights. While I can. And just pass the turn. So now I can put a stop here in my main phase. And in case I want to write in response to the teachings trigger. I have a touch. Well. So what I can do here, I can, I can, um, play my restoration, get a planes, play teachings, kill the peacekeeper. Uh, 
And then play Rite of Harmony, play Teachings, draw two. Seems sensible. And then I have two more Rite of Harmony in the grave. And uh, yeah, I guess no attacks. You know, my, I'm playing the, the deck with a good late game. I don't need to attack. You could say that using the touch is maybe a little aggressive. But I do have two Rite of Harmony in my graveyard. They can use the Sun Gold, I guess, but not really. Like, the Sun Golds, they can make it unblockable and give it, like, protection from green. But I have Colorless, too, so... Alright, now I draw two. Fable, easy peasy. And I could attack with the 4 4 Life Linker, but I'm just gonna get like double block by two small things. Um, Yeah, no rush really. I'm just gonna slowly pull ahead here. Two decks playing against each other that gotten better with the Metok ban. Yeah, I mean, if they name white. And green, then uh, block for two to spirit, right? I still have one right. <laughs> Every time they attack, I gain like a bunch of life. Should I block like with both in case they have like a ganjo or something? Okay, um, you may discard a card. Uh, no thanks, I guess. I'll put a counter on the other Jukai, why not? Um, no thanks. So, now I can... Yeah, now I'll just... No, wait a minute. Uh, I'll tap you, 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 and you. Play you first. I mean, that right of harmony just says creature and a gem, and it's it's pretty nasty. Creature or, but yeah, it's it's just oof. So we do have three already lost, so we could draw one more. So we kind of want to put a stop here, just in case we draw the right of harmony. What is this about? I guess they want to destroy an enchantment here. I guess they could blow up my betting announcement. Hmm. I guess that's somewhat concerning. Okay, fine. And I'll block like this so I won't get blown out by that. Yeah, at this point, I don't think anything matters because I just I'm gonna draw, draw two more cards with Fable. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna you know do things. I kill a Juka. Okay. So I'm gonna put these under, draw two cards with Fable. Then we can maybe find another right. We didn't, so we're just gonna let this happen. And then we're going to... Any attacks? I guess I could attack with the 4 4 here. Sure, I guess why not? I guess I'll first play this. In case we draw the haunting. Didn't. Alright, I'll play Restoration. Get a land. Last land. Hmm. Play it. So, this restoration is just... Okay, they've seen enough. Yeah. My board state is huge. I just, you know, I win the game. Okay, so we're playing against aggressive white. So I definitely want to force circle. Um, Catilda is... Probably good here. 
what is not good. Maybe the companion is a bit slow. Oh, it's it's nice against um, some of these creatures. At, at least against the mechanic, it's pretty good. Not against hopeful because it has two toughness. Um, wedding announcement is a bit slow. Haunting is a bit slow. Ride of Harmony is a bit slow. <laughs> Maybe like two and two, something like this. And then Catilda is reasonable. Like, do I need the haunting in this matchup necessarily? They don't have Skyclave Apparition anymore. They have Destroy Evil. We didn't need the haunting in the last game, but haunting is still like super powerful. It's it's just a bit slow on the draw, I guess. And if you have Catilda instead, uh, we don't really need that type of effect, I guess. I don't know. This looks a bit random, but I think it's like fine. Like, Spirit Companion and Wedding Announcement are sort of, like, value cards. Wedding Announcement kind of won us the game, though. It gave us so much more power. Mm. Yeah, maybe I should keep in more Wedding Announcements. Mm, that's fantastic. But I honestly don't think this matchup is, like, any bad or anything. Like, it just seems pretty good. We have a bunch of blockers, we have removal. Jukai negating the Talia effect. I don't care as much about Talia, I think, as I care about the Brutal Kafar. It's huh. pretty good. And yeah, maybe Ride of Harmony is the card I should cut in this matchup, honestly. Not having immediate effect, especially on a draw. Seems a bit clunky, doesn't it? Yep. That's a yikes. Take nine, go to six. Yeah, okay, I'll probably die this game. Yeah, GG. Can only get one creature on the board. They have more than lethal. Okay, yeah, I guess Rite of Harmony is, is the slow one here. That was kind of ruthless. Um, yeah, happens, I guess. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Guess Andrew is also kind of slow. Pretty decent with Spirit Companion when you chump block. Okay, yeah, Talia into Brutal Kafar, into Removal, Hopeful Initiate, on the play, gets it done. What was I missing there? I guess I was just missing more removal. And that game would have gone a bit different if I would have been on a play.
Good. Yeah, I don't think I wanted to use the touch on anything. Hopefully initiate is a bit annoying too. The touch. Yeah, I might I might touch that. Oh everything. Everybody. Take five. Hmm. What do I do here? Two cards left. I kind of want to keep the Orochi around. To make jump blockers. Guru Kafa could become annoying. Maybe. Most certainly could. So, I kind of want to get rid of it in combat. Same with... The initiate though. But if I kill the Adeline here, the initiate can't really get a counter. Oh, this is oh, this is tough. I don't know. Like I could just do this. It's like what's a bigger problem? Hmm. Just the initiate for now. And all these companions. It's a bit annoying. They're a bit like slow, I guess. I want removal! Where's my removal? Where are my contains? What, what are you looking for? I guess this white deck is punching me pretty hard. I remember Mono White being really good against um Naya Runes. <laughs> At least in Alchemy, that was the case. I think mean, it was also the case in Standard, I guess. Just a combination of Talia taxing all your enchantments, and then like Brutal Kafar, Portable Hole, da 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 da. Why is Talia not attacking? Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, I guess they. It's a sign of weakness, isn't it? Peacekeeper, okay. Yeah, I'm slowly, definitely right of, cutting right of harmony was definitely the, the, the thing I should be, I should, yeah, definitely against Talia and stuff. I don't need the right of harmony against my opponent, I just need to survive. Maybe I should have just played Fable there? Instead of the Restoration and the 1-1. One, one. It's a bit more power on the board. Just one more power, I guess. I'll take the damage. I could jump with... I guess I'll jump, why not? Get it back to... I guess I already have one in the grave. Katilda. Okay, I guess I'll discard this. I'll get a spirit companion. Now I will pass the turn after playing Fable. Do want to be careful not to play two spells a turn. I look haunting. So I have one, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven enchantments. So I copy companion. Hmm. So do I want the Katilda in the grave? They have one card left. Just play Katilda. <laughs> it's pretty good. Put put Katilda on the Kirin. It's also pretty good. Um, maybe I should just do that. Do I need a second haunting? Probably not. Where are my removal spells? I have like four circle. Four touch. Almost half my deck. I've only seen one. Okay. No, 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 no. So I could do like double this, or I could just Katilda it up. So I have a Sun Gold Sentinel, I should just Katilda it up. Da -da 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 -da. I would like to make a 1 1. Jukai. So I can play Jukai, then play Haunting into Teachings. Or I can just play Haunting and then Jukai. Mm. Even with having so many cards in hand, I'm actually happy. Getting Jukai out, then Haunting, and then Teaching. Uh, at this point, yeah. Everything has Vigilance, which is kind of stupid, so you really just have to click the attack button not much banking to be done Sarah Bergen, sure good game okay well all right so it seems like a reasonable matchup I guess between circle touch, you got some removal. You got a lot of early blockers. Um, they can maybe fly over you. Then Katilda comes in handy. Gained us like nine life there. Brukafa is annoying, but you do have eight removal spells, so yeah. And I mean, you're playing the color red, so could play Flameless Bolt or something like that. Would be pretty good against Talia. And against the uh, Burukafa. Also against Hopeful Initiate. Here we go. Juka is really nice against other lean tokens. That's cool. Bernie Guy from Ravnica. Okay, that's a pretty long name. Nice to meet you, Bernie. Path of Peril. If you want to beat this deck, Path of Peril, and you're not playing white and you don't fare well, Path of Peril is nasty good against it. Almost kills everything. Doesn't kill, like, it, yeah, it basically kills the entire deck for free mana. It doesn't kill um, just Restoration and Kiki, basically. Yeah, the, the, those are the ones, Architect and, and Kiki, that dodge it. Otherwise, your entire deck dies to that card.
played against a mono black player who had Path of Peril and beat me with it. Like, they had Path of Peril and Bloodline Culling, so they wiped my entire board twice in a row. And that then got me exactly. And I could have even played around it. They top decked the second sweeper. They were empty handed. Had like two graveyard trespasses in play. And then they drew the, the culling and wiped away everything. I was like, okay. Those are beautiful lands. Infinity, huh? Bloodline culling, yeah. It's a card. Guess people play it to replace me, dog. Three mana minus five minus five. And for three mana you also get a minus two minus two on every token. Not bad, not bad. Blue green. Why in the upkeep? Could you pass priority, please? Bernie! So what do I do here? I think I just play betting announcement, honestly. I might have a counter spell. I just want to get the betting going. Could play Jukai and Teachings. Also reasonable. And then next turn play betting and Resto. Mm, yeah, I guess it's... Yeah, sure. It seems like they have counter spell. I don't know. They can make this appear now. But this is the best, I guess. Consider. I, I guess. I guess this is the best line here. It's just slightly unfortunate if my Jukai gets countered, and then I'm left with, you know, have, not having a second play. And at that point, I have like two free drops, which is, and a two drop. I can't play double spell next turn, so that really would have been awkward. We have lots of lots of lands today. Lots of lands. Alright. I'll attack both. Because I want to draw a card for that announcement. I guess a little risky. I should have maybe played this pre combat because they, they could have blocked my free free. Blue green and mid range. But I just need to find Hell of Haunting. And I'm good. Mm, could also get the Juka into play instantly, I guess. Uh, why not, I suppose? Is that better than ramping? Mm. Uh, I'll do this. Lying. Hmm. Here's a matchup where I probably want Katilda. Seems like a race and flying seems important. But if I just get a head out haunting out, probably also pretty good against whatever they got going. This is this is cool. It's over. The rhino. There's a touch. So this can block. Take eight. Go to eleven. These are just free freeze without touch over and play. Opponent only has one card left. I'll take it. Oof, it's a lot of lands. I mean, you have Rite of Harmony, you have like Restoration of Fable, you do have 
Blooding out like this whew, doesn't happen that often, I'd say. Okay, um... Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if I should make a creature, if I should attack here. I could attack the Kirin and the Free Free. Make the Free Free into a 4-4. Four four. Uh, so they can block my Kirin. Um... But I still gain four. Mm, but now we draw cards. Mm. I mean, this situation is fine as long as my creatures survive. But if they have a Tatiova, I die very quickly. So that's what I need to draw cards for, technically. But I would lose my Kirin. Which, how important is that? And I would my board state would be like a 2 to a 3-3. Free, free. Dicey, dicey. Okay, fine. I'll attack. Hmm. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I draw an enchantment, I guess we're good. Hmm. This is 5, 11, 14 damage. Whew. Hmm. Could just block the rhino. So if I did if I don't draw an enchantment, do I have a chance? If I block the rhino, they get a 4-4. Attack with this, they double block. Uh, that ain't pretty, that ain't pretty. Nah, I think I'm just gonna take it all. Just hoping to, to find that enchantment. I just need one more. Okay, I should play a forest first and use the forest. So I actually don't have any life to give. In case I, I don't know. Come on, deck. Please, 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 please. Yes! Yes! Big one. And again, attack all. Nothing flies. Gain eight, go to nine. Now we have flying blockers. They're almost dead. Just gotta hope they don't have any interaction for anything, basically. If they have any interaction here, I die, but I mean, they had one draw. If they if they can bounce any artifact, I die. Eh, sorry, enchantment. Oh, come on, Otavara, you son of a gun. It's exactly 9 2. Ooh, that sucks. If I would have blocked the Rhino last turn. I guess I would have been alive now. Hmm. That sucks. I mean, they had to rip that. They had they had the second Tatiober. Hmm. That wasn't cool. That was not cool. That was really not cool. I did not like that. Close game. I mean, I could have blocked the Rhino the turn before. That... Would have avoided death there. I didn't think as far as I... I didn't think as far as I had as I maybe could have. 
Hmm. Weird, weird hand. I mean, I, I got a good setup, but I don't have anything going. But Jukai, Jukai is really good in a matchup. I have a Gunjo. So maybe this is not a keep. Maybe I'm maybe I'm killing myself. Like I have, I, I'm really reliant on on drawing something. So like my entire deck is good with the cards I have in hand. But if I draw a couple lands here, I might be out. That was a really close game. Anyhow, let's focus on the next one. Hmm. The funny thing is, I guess if I would have blocked, yeah, yeah. Now, now I realize if I would have blocked with architect, I would, I wouldn't even have a close. I wouldn't even have stand a chance. I would have just lost instantly, because uh, I, I don't have the seventh uh, enchantment creature for for hell haunting, so I can't, can't do that. So I, I did play correctly. I just, you know, they just added. They, they ripped the card off the top. They needed. Hmm. See, I could play right and then companion. Just have my right cycle. It's pretty unfortunate if they have a common spell for spirit companion. That wouldn't be good. Because then my right is literally nothing. Uh, I think I should just wait on the right. I just play my spirited. <laughs> A bit slow out of the gate again. It's a good card. Now the question is do I play around and make this appear? I think I kinda should. Just I could have played right again, draw one card, do the thing. Did I have like Titan of Industry? Titan would make sense, right? Big top end. I've seen a lot of cards. Mm hmm. All right, now I'll use the rides. And I will just attack with the Yukai, and then make it 1-1 one, one draw a card that way. I guess I could have used both rides, technically, but I could have drawn another enchantment that I can play here. So, I think it's fine how I did it. Alright. Needs creature spells. My opponent doesn't seem to be having that many creature spells. So I think something like a Titan of Industry is better than that thing. You have a lot of creatures like a mono green creature deck. You could see it, but I don't know. In their deck doesn't seem that good. See they don't even have a creature here. Jesus Christ, what's going on deck? <sighs> okay, they don't have Tatiova in hand, obviously. I think at this point I will just write. Mm, yeah. To draw cards. 
And then uh, put, play a circle and draw a card. And then I draw another card. Just, you know. Make this appear. Okay. Okay, fine. Yikes. There's a fable. Destroy my wedding festivity. Okay. No, the Jew card. Okay. Oh, haunting. So I have four eight mana. Da, 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 da. Yes, that works. Are you for real? This is sort of like the presentation effect. Like when I played this deck before the video, it just completely destroyed my opponents. I was like, holy cow, is this deck good? And now, what the heck is happening? They don't even attack with that, really? You're not happy trading with four creatures of mine? I guess free. Get Dilda. Um, all right, I'll play one right. I could play two right, but I, I think I'll leave one around. For now. Okay. All right. Now we're talking. Okay, let's go. All right, fading hope it is. Describe to the top. They are 11, two blockers, six. If I just find another haunting, I'm good to go. Not even attacking with the flyer? Okay. They kept the card on top. What is that? What is that going to be? Um, Just here. Hmm, a haunting. Mm -hmm. All right, let's play Jukai, copy Jukai, play haunting. Hmm, you got a negate or something? Oh, well, look, look at that, I got a negate. Hmm, so I have 23 cards. Um, I think I'll do this. 
Nah, actually, no. Okay, I will just put you on that, I guess. This has death touch. Okay. It's unfortunate again. Whoa, how did you tap my mana? Jeez, bro. That was not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> Next turn we can write with the triggers here on the stack. I think my opponent's like minus in the minus percentages to win this game by now. I mean, I get they're dead. <laughs> they must be dead. They're super dead. Yeah, yeah. Of course they're dead. They <laughs> sometimes my brain is just a bit slow. When they played this, like, yeah. I mean, okay, we got him. Um, destroy evil, huh? For these big boys. No Tatiova this time around. Make my circle look a bit embarrassing. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So they have make disappear. Da, 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 da. They have return to nature. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, yeah. Elspeth, maybe? Elspeth would have been really good last game. It's a bit expensive. Hmm. I wonder what's not so good. Curse of Silence. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Da, 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 da. You know, I need the circle against Tatio, but that seems like a way I lose quickly. But if they have stuff like Silverback Elder, Kura. I mean, Kura is slow. It's a 5 mana 4 for Flyer. It's not that. Touch is really good against Kura. But this thing, um, yeah, I'd like to have to destroy evil, I guess. Elspeth. Hmm. Maybe I cut a land? I was flooding crazy that game. I don't know. On the draw, 23 lands. I mean, the deck's cheap. Maybe you can get away with that, but you're also playing three colors. Did cut a Capulzen Forest. I don't know why. Maybe I should have just cut a Plains. Well, I guess I shouldn't have cut a Plains. Well, this hand's decent if I draw planes, but that is not guaranteed, so... Well, again. Okay. Alright. Um, play Jukai turn 1, at eh, turn 2. Then play... I mean, it would be cool to play the teachings on turn 3, plus, like, the restoration. But it's it's less powerful it's it's less powerful than vetting. Hmm. All right, I'll bait with the teachings in case you have like a make disappear. Hmm. Didn't take the bait. Maybe I should have just gone with the Juke guy. Go for the best possible line. I don't know. Double island start makes me think they have make disappear. Hmm. I guess I kind of want them to counter the... Okay. They're not even kickering it. That's weird. They have spell pierce? Ah, they have another feeding hope, I guess. No, they have spell pierce. No? What's it? What is it? 
Consider? I don't know what's going on here. Fading over. Okay. Discard cards. Um, whew. I mean, I kind of want to have proactivity, so I think I'll just discard this. restoration okay okay hmm I'll play Jukai. So I want the vetting announcement with the right next turn. Okay. And also, if they have a make disappear, I'd rather have the Jukai get countered. They kept the card. Play land. Okay. That I can work with. Hmm. Uh, attempting to get the Jukai out, we can copy it in my opponent's end step and then go crazy on the next turn. Hmm, well, I just play Fable. So good. I think I got the Jukai. All right, it's time to draw some cards. So now I have a little bit of a decision. Oh, okay. I think, I think not actually. Nah, it's just this. I could copy like the Kyrian and attack. I could copy the Goblin. I guess. Yeah, that's that's the best play. I guess. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So definitely attack with these. I could attack with this. Make a one-one. Draw a card. Yeah, you see, like if you if you <laughs> let my deck do its thing, it uh, can do pretty nasty things. Even though I missed land drops for like a lot of turns. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll just do this. Good game. I've never seen my opponent's deck. Um, it's an interesting one. Definitely put me to the test a little bit. Blue, green. Blue green um, ramp. 
I mean, you can build that deck a bit better, I think. I didn't see any Titan of Industries. That just, if you're playing a ramp deck and you're playing green, that card should be there in high numbers, I think. It's a clunker. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a key. Gonna try it. Hope to find a green. This makes me think, I mean, tramway station just gotta be Rakdos, essentially. Like, mono black, splash four, fable, blood type harvester, a braid. So, invoke despair is likely on a shieldred, stuff like that is something we should be aware of. Oh, it's Grixis. Hmm, I could kill the banky boy here with the touch. Don't necessarily think that's what I want to do. I think I want to get this restoration out. What do I have to land drop? If I get to resolve the haunting against Grixis, it's like, good luck. You don't have me took anymore. Haunting is like really good against them. Why do I have restoration in play? Just, ah, I see. Right. So now I can discard the Jukai, get it into play. I don't have green mana. <laughs> That's really nice. And then I can play Haunting into Companion. That's super nice. <laughs> There's my green. Let's go. Yep, and uh, we got we got our engine established. Grixis, start invoking me. I think it's not going to be good enough. Tramway station could. In Grixis could be a sign of Invoke. It's so like if you're not playing Shivan Reef, Stormcuffed Coast because you're playing Invoke, or at least you're playing less of those, you might want to play Red Black Duel if you're running already Sulfur Springs, Haunted Ridge in, 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 the, in the high numbers. Looks like make disappear over there. So the question I get, I think I'll keep the touch, honestly. It's just shield, it is a problem. Okay, that resolves, that's cool. Yeah, that's launched, cool. Yeah, no meter means no reset button. Maybe they have burned on. They have shielded. I think my opponent's dead. 
Like I have flying here. But playing my entire hand out. The crew, sure. Yeah, go ahead and draw a card, please. All attack for a bazillion in the air. So we're playing against Grixis. Grixis doesn't have farewell. I don't really need anything out of the sideboard, I'd say. Mm, destroy evil is like fine. This is killed Shieldred and Fable. So that's somewhat important. Unless it's hers, it makes corpse appraisal look embarrassing. So I guess I like that too. Um Jukai Naturalist is a removal um magnet. And this deck has a bunch of removal. So there could be the consideration to just cut the Jukai. Mm, but Jukai is very, very powerful in this deck. And you can get it back for restoration. <laughs> I'll try this. Not like super convinced. It's a bit out there to cut the Jukai, right? Like, could do that. But it's one of the more powerful cards in the deck. Nullifying the opposing removal is always a nice thing. Sounds great. It's like, I mean, I do have decent creatures that my opponent can target still with their removal. Like the, the reflection, the restoration and such. But they do also other things. This makes me this makes me think they have re one mana removal here. So I don't even want to play my Jukai. I could just get the hearse out. They have a Fable. A Harvester, alright. Playing out of Vara tells me my opponent has a uh, um, landlight hand. Maybe the maybe the deck can really get by with less lands. Alright, no land drop. I'm certainly not gonna play my four drop here. If they're keeping up make disappear. Teachings. Okay. Just got two lands. Mm, I guess I'll play Jukai. That's it. Jukai teachings. I kind of want to play the haunting. <laughs> they have to make this appear, they have to make this appear. I have a second one. Okay, I'll play it. Okay, well, that's the best case. <laughs> no, really, like, I want to have. Next turn I can write, trigger on the stack here with the Fable, and um, oh, a Braid. Okay. So, I can write, draw a card from the Reflection, and then I can drop the Jukai, draw a card, and then I can, if I draw a green source, 
I can teach things as well, draw another card, and another card. And not vaunting in play, I draw a bazillion cards. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, if I would have just gone Juka last turn, and then have, like, end step removal for Juka or something, you know, it, then, then I can't do future good turns. So, I think I just, you know, play the haunting there. They didn't have the counter spell, so I think they're pretty rip. Yeah, okay. You're so dead. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this. Wait. Let's tap that. I'm gonna draw a lot of cards here. Alright, there's already a land. So now I can go Jukai, make a spirit, draw a card, and then draw three more cards with the teachings. And there you see how crazy Rite of Harmony is, is just in this deck. Especially if you, if you have Haunting out, it just becomes ridiculous. Like, <laughs> every enchantment makes another like, enhanced full. It's just, yeah, GG. You see the power of Juka. You play it, just like in a rune stack. You play it and you just go off. Yeah. Sure. Again, this might be lethal here. A copy Jukai. And I can play these three. Oh, they have removal? No. Um, this will already give me five, so, okay, uh, oh, it's still my upkeep, oopsie daisy, well, I could have, oh, hmm, could have played that, I guess, doesn't make sense. Alright, uh, yeah, so, we can make these guys, like, everything flies, so we'll just, yeah, we'll just play these, I guess I could have played haunting, uh, well, I guess we could have just played haunting there, yeah, that actually would have been better. Makes the same amount of spirits ultimately, right? Yeah. Gives me one less enchantment, but I don't need enchantments. So I says I already have enough now. Um ba -ba -ba -ba. So they're gonna be 13, 17, 18 damage, so not quite lethal. Unfortunately. 13, 18, yeah. My opponent really should have killed like I guess they used the blood. Ah, they used the blood earlier. Missing land drops, right? Yeah, couldn't kill my Jukai. And I mean, imagine I didn't have to destroy evil. Oh man, I guess. Did I actually screw this up? I think I did actually screw this up, right? I, I was not supposed to destroy evil on my upkeep there. Oh, yeah, power cover, that's cool. I was not supposed to do that. I just realized. I was supposed to just kill them. If I don't destroy evil, I can just play haunting and make a bunch of spirits. Ha, huh, funny. I was I was locked in on, you know, what you usually do, you kill the shieldred. But in this spot, I actually didn't care about shieldred. Take take two, I'll just fly over and kill you. Yeah. So as you can see, I mean shieldred is technically a problem, but if you already established like a haunting and um you already have stuff, you can just completely go over the top and just kill your opponent with a bazillion power. And Jukai and Naturalist. It's it's just like, you know, Shieldred stops the Fable draw, it stops the Kafar, co no, sorry, the Companion, Spirit Companion. It stops the Rite of Harmony. It doesn't stop it, but it makes it a lot worse. So, it is annoying. So, you, yeah. I mean, um, are you convinced? We did play against Mono White, against Blue Green, and against Grixis. Um, not necessarily, like, super... Like, the Grixis opponent didn't really stand a chance, but I mean, yeah. it, so far it felt like that. Like, you just overwhelm these mid-range decks, you just go crazy. They, they play fair, they play their 2-drop, their 3-drop, and you just boom, 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 do this, do that, here and there. Um, your deck is cheap, so make this appear is not that efficient against you. 
and um, you buy yourself a lot of time, at least on the ground, not necessarily in the air. You need the haunting to, to prevent the air and you have removal. Um, so, yeah, I'm not married to putting the Catilda in the sideboard. It could be still a main deck thing. Um, but again, if you put it on a creature, your opponent almost of, more often than not has like removal if you're playing a black matchup. So you can just kill it. Um, so yeah, but the deck is really good against spot removal. It's really good against Invoke Despair. There's not, not much sweepers. Path to Peril, I guess, has been picked up more and more recently, but Path to Path of Peril, Farewell, th those effects, there they buy time, but they don't necessarily win the game. Like if my opponent would have had Farewell, like they are on Grixis, but if they would have had Farewell last game, <laughs> you could just laugh about it. It's just rebuild. I have a full hand. I'm just boom, boom, boom. Um, so yeah. And yeah, that's it for this video, I guess. I think this is one of the thickest decks right now. I've been just on a winning streak with it. And um, yeah, you got to be prepared. Super exciting deck. And uh, try it yourself. Maybe grind yourself up the ladder with it easily because nobody seems to be really prepared for it. People are thinking it's, it's a bit geeky. Um, all right. See you in the next one, guys. Peace out.